नमस्कार एंड वेलकम बैक टू वी एल एस एफ फॉर ऑल यूट्यूब चैनल हब फॉर टेक्निकल एजुकेशन एंड एपी सेंटर फॉर अफोर्डेबल वी एल एस एफ कोचिंग इन इंडिया टूडे वी आर इंडी प्राउड टू हैव विच आर मिस्टर सुरजित भट्टाचार्य आर टेस्टिमोनियल स्टूडेंट टेकन आर प्रीमियम वेरिफिकेशन बैच एंड इज नाउ करेंटली प्लेस एट सैमसंग सुरजित इज एन इज करेंटली पर्सिंग हिज मास्टर्स इन एन आई टी दुर्गापुर With the kind permission, can we start the testimonial interview? Yes, yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, so before we begin, um, for the sake of our audience, can you please introduce yourself in great detail uh, about your academic qualifications, your grade rank, and other interests? Hello, everyone. My name is Surajit Metacharya. I am currently pursuing my M Tech in Next Generation Communication and Networks from National Institute of Technology, Durgapur. Earlier, I have completed my btech in electronics and communication engineering from ramkrishna mahato government engineering college purlia which was earlier known as purlia government engineering college i completed my 10th and 12th from assembly of god church kuchhotpur and also was the section topper for the year 2015 uh, isc okay apart from uh, normal acad- academics i do have a subtle interest in various state of the art technologies like deep le- like deep learning neural network artificial intelligence machine learning nfts blockchain to name a few yes so uh, moving on here uh, can you tell us about your um, uh, preparation of interview which which you uh, uh, which made it into this samsung company okay so starting i must say that one need to focus on the core aspects of the subjects be it digital electronics verilog system verilog and shall be you able to utilize it in the broad level apart from that one must devote their their time wisely in the projects so that they could utilize most of it in the long run really say for hall has helped me in clarifying the basics of the subjects while broadening the horizons and its projects paved a way for its smooth understanding and its application yes uh, so can you also tell us about how was your uh, experience as a uh, at the interview level of the samsung companies and uh, also uh, in which other companies uh, were you shortlisted and how okay so i appeared for three companies and due to uh, due to some f- family casualties i was not able to appear for one of the company and uh, means i was not able to register also for one of the company going to one family cause uh, casualty then i applied for comments so they are also we were shortlisted for hr and technical round and then i applied for samsung yes well the please continue uh, well it was a three round as far as uh-huh. well it was a three round as far as i can remember it consists of a uh, initially resume shortlisting followed by a coding round then a technical interview and then the final shortlist as usual yes uh also uh in which year uh, did you join vlsa for all as a uh, in the course module and which course did you take ha huh. i okay. i joined vlsi for all in the year 2023 itself that is this year in the month of january and i took the premium rtl verification course as far as i can remember yes uh, can i also ask you how was the uh, batch how was like how were the modules structured and how far were it uh, applicable in the actual job interview okay so yeah the modules were organized in a structured manner which not only helped us in clarifying the concepts getting a broad idea of the basics be it uh, digital electronics starting from digital electronics where we were exposed to various workings of the circuits and its implementation followed by having projects uh, relevant uh, having relevant projects helped us in expanding our knowledge horizon and then 
followed by other subjects like uh, after digital electronics we were exposed to verilog so when you were when when you got a vivid idea of the various digital electronics uh, circuits and then when you are moving to projects where you are getting a hands on experience like uh, when we were taught some circuits after a day or two as usual rajat sir used to give us some assignments on eda pick playground or xilinx as well. as my system doesn't support it xilinx initially so i did it in in eda playground which is a uh, your free version of a free version eda which mostly the, the electronic hobbyist used it so there also we were exposed to various uh, digital circuits and so that provided a broad vision which is required uh, this vision is required for in the, in the industry in the long run so that has helped me in gaining exposure and uh, creating a suitable ambience for for the inquisitiveness and there we were exposed to other subjects such as system verilog verilog uvm sta to name a few these yeah. subjects were taught by one of the industry experts so they were at par with the industry requirements and can satisfy the quench of knowledge for electronic hobbyist or those who are preparing for placement scenarios yes yes sir also uh, how much time did it take for you to complete and the entire course followed by a well uh, it's now i'm still now continuing the that because uh, we have been shortlisted for internship so we are also preparing for other means uh, we are also preparing for other utilization of those concepts so that we could use it in the industry level as well and uh, there uh, i think so the vlsi for all course material will aid us in understanding the concepts which is uh, the concepts on which the, there is work going on in the industry so it will help us in understanding that uh, work better and will pave way for its further utilization so in that case i took around 4 months to 5 months to complete just the basic part of it because currently also we are doing a revision of the concepts so yeah 5 to 6 months approximately yes, yes sir uh, and also how was uh, rajat sir helpful in your journey of getting an internship or placement assistant uh rajat sir was uh, he was instrumental in bringing all those things i used to maintain a uh, code uh, used to coordinate the activities and used to see whether every student is getting the required material or not also encourages us to get ourselves ready in the competitive scenario where we can use that concepts for broad utilization in the near future or so and uh, yes definitely that sense of uh, responsibility that sense of discipline which uh, sir has instilled in us will definitely help us in persevering in the long run yes that is very true uh, also uh, would you like to recommend vlsa for all for uh, uh, upcoming master students who are into core yeah definitely those who are trying to get uh, yourself into core industries particularly in dv profile or in ssc profile so they must uh, have a, they must subscribe to vlsa for all because they are giving a broad explanation of the concepts followed by its rigorous industrial uh, expertise and regularly as we are seeing that they are bringing new industry experts in the queue so that also can create some uh, I mean, that can create uh, some advantage when people are joining industries so that the technologies on which this stalwarts are working they could also adhere to it 
and could use it in the long run as well so definitely in a holistic for a holistic view of the industry and its various counterparts i strongly recommend vlsi for all because not apart from the basics uh, basic subjects which are being taught and and the basics uh, knowledge which are being shared through the assignments through the lectures through the modules they are also providing a broad exposure when coming when they are bringing such industry stalwarts in their in their channel and they are sharing their industry insights with us that will help us in the long run yes uh, also uh, this will be the final question sir can you please explain about uh, uh, in a brief manner about your interest in machine learning and neural applications okay I'll wait a second just got some well apart from learning the basics of communication system like uh, modulation and demodulation techniques mimo millimeter wave technology and at the same time sal poses a sound info of the various 5g protocols and its architecture details while having themselves acquired to current state of the art technologies such as artificial learning artificial intelligence sorry machine learning neural networks blockchain nft to name a few so we are currently in the we are currently in the very start of this urban globalization era where such hot topics such as 5g nft blockchain which will be feasible in the near decades may be feasible within 5 years or so so having a project involving such technologies will act as a golden feather in your crown and will aid in getting yourself an extra edge over other potential candidates and uh, one need to have a crystal clear vision of the projects the projects which they are doing they need to have a crystal clear like uh, in for uh, in my case for example i was working on neural networks involving music uh, genre recognition where we were working on long short term memory neural networks lstm neural networks so one need to have a clear idea a vivid description of the hardware implementation as well as the software implementation as well as the mathematics in got behind all those neural networks that will aid in not only understanding the neural networks in a clear and efficient way but will also help in cre in creating own potential solutions for prevalent industry problems which will thereby aid as an uh, extra edge over other potential candidates when you are going for interviews so also we are heading towards the automation era where large scale automations are being applied across various industry verticals so one need to have a clear vision of the state of the art technologies we are heading towards the era where metaverse non fungible tokens nfts blockchain 5g will dominate the globe and as such one needs to have a broad mindset to append such skills yes sir that is uh, that was very interesting and i hope uh, we can see you on yet another episode of uh, unveiling for all youtube channel where you can explain in detail about your project okay. in the machine it learning was... and uh, the neural network application we will definitely plan that okay. one okay yes Uh, well, I, I will. I will be highly obliged. In yes. that case, yes, uh, we'll be uh, making it soon happen uh, for the benefit mm -hmm. of our audience. Also, okay. um, we are thankful to you for being a testimonial student, and we hope you can achieve greater heights in future. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for giving me this opportunity to share my interview experience. I hope this uh, the hits and dates of the interview. which uh, i have shared will help other students who will be appearing for the interview sooner or later and i am thankful to vsi vlsi for all for giving me a stage where i can share my experience thanks yes, take care spread love thank you